No, you are the next one, huh? No, no, no. No, you're, you're skipping interviews. Why? Kirk is the official heckler. Heckler, okay. All right, so we are recording. So we're Hello. here at the J. Cree conference. Yeah. Or unconference. Yeah, unconference. At, <laughs> at You're on the, on the island of Crete with some of the um, smartest people in the world who have oddly gathered around um, also one of the most beautiful conferences. Yeah, four right, in a so, row. so tell me, you're the disorganizer of J. Crete. Yeah, so tell I'm, me a little bit about uh, what it is and how you, um, how you got started with this. Okay, I'm, I'm one of the di disorganizers. There's an entire team. There's a Heinz Kaboots who, who kick-started it, John Castars, Kirk Pepperdine sitting next to us, and, uh, and me. <laughs> also, a bunch of others uh, involved, um, also Rabia. Um, so the idea of J. Crete came about four or five years ago. Um, Heinz was running at the time his uh, Java Specialist Club, also kind of closed circle thing, and he announced that he's making the conference, and about uh, 35 or so of us showed up for the first year. Nice. That was a huge success. Uh, the thing we run in an in a open conference format, that means there are no speakers, keynotes, yeah, or so skill sessions. This, all this stuff is being organized on the fly, but yet you seem to have a system for everything. Well, uh, we we have a system coined by Kim and Kate Tucker, who who taught us the the entire approach the first two years. Um, we have um, um, we capture uh, essentially, for example, the time space matrix, the the schedule we built on the fly. And what we have prepared, we have uh, rules and uh, principles and laws, uh, kind of uh, on a white paper on the walls. So there is a little bit of system. So you, when you enter and you come on the first day, there is something set up, but yeah, but my, the biggest thing is open. Is the one where the, when the session's over, it's over. Yeah, that's one of the <laughs> principles of, of of open space. Yeah, there are actually five of them, and that's one of them. Yes. All and right, then so enough about the the unconference. What okay. about the excursions? I don't think that was in the original <laughs> unconference. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. The the biggest thing about J Crete is that. We are running it in half and half day format. Means the first half a day we have sessions, usually three sessions per day, and then the second half we spend in excursions, uh, swimming in the ocean, all kind of stuff. And nice. it's usually very, very exciting thing because we go into a places which are not on most touristic maps. Yeah. That's what we did in the past. Heinz has shown us quite a few exquisite places, and um, every year we are kind of enjoying new stuff like the, the, this morning we did a what yeah, is it, that five was a hour hard to get to drive the beach total I, I feel like we put in a whole day's work before we even got here because we we went to this way out place we hiked there the whole time we had geek conversations yes. on the hike in the water yes at the beach and then we came back here and we're still in conferencing yes yeah, so and now we have another three hours of unconference that that's that's how it works, and and in the sea we usually have have thing we call waving talks, where we have like lightning talks in the sea. Nice. That's awesome, you know, like 200, uh, you are somewhere 200 meters from from the shore, and you are talking. Are you, are you worried about the, the sea life picking up any tips and tricks on Java? Um, I don't know. Okay. They might, but then there's not much sea life here around, so it's quite safe, yeah. both for us and for the sea yeah, life, that's, that's <laughs> not good. being uh, contaminated with that. Yeah, so it's lots of fun. Cool. So um, what else do we have in store for the rest of the conference? This is only the... That's the second day. Second day, second day we are s now in session two, so we have another seven sessions to go until end of the week. That's the, the main conference part. Then we have on Friday a uh, hackathon. That's going to be with you. You're going to do hardware hacking. Oh, uh, yeah. You can tell a little, more about that. A little hardware. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> going to be like three or four hours of hardware. You have, uh, what do you have in store? <laughs> Worth. Um, I have... Nine Lego Mindstorm sets and 20 Raspberry Pis and a whole bunch of sensors, accelerometers, light sensors, wow. breadboards, wiring. Yeah, so okay. there alone we could do cool stuff with it, but together we could create some pretty massive hacking This is projects. awesome. So that's <laughs> lots of us looking forward to Friday. It's going to be like a nice wrapping up. Yeah, don't ask me how I got there through customs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You have your channels apparently. You're night hacking. Yeah, so I, I, have, I, I have friends who work in the industry. Okay. Awesome. Also, have that. Right? Cool. All right. Thanks for the short interview. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. And we're going to continue doing night hacking interviews with different folks at jCreate. So stay tuned on the live stream at nighthacking.com or follow the Twitter handle at underscore night hacking. Right. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs>